Dave, last year, uh, working remotely is becoming kind of the new modern. Before the pandemic, I feel that some of the leaders were hesitant for their employees to work from home because they cannot work from home. I need to monitor them. I need to see what they're doing. But I believe some of the managers, like within 72 or maybe three, four days, they had to make the decision to allow people to work from home. And I feel that it's working out. But still, people, some managers, they want them to come back. So when this pandemic is over, hopefully, and we become back to normal life, what do you think the workplace will look like? And do you think that whatever we learn during this year will be still implemented, like the personalization that we talked about in the previous video? You know, I think one of the things that this pandemic has taught me around personalization that we talked about, the boundaries of work have changed. Yeah. The old model. I get up in the morning, I get dressed, I go to work. I go through Stanley Park in Vancouver, or I get on a bus, or I take a train. I'm at work, and then I go home from work. Well, that's a clear boundary. Work is a, is a spatial boundary. It's a space. It's a place. Yes. I think today that boundary is gone. Yeah, for sure. Especially in all, I mean, there are some jobs where you have to be in a place. In manufacturing, obviously, that you build a product yeah. or something. But a lot of work is not around a place. It's about what you do. And, but there is, I think, a new boundary of work. Mm-hmm. And here's the boundary. As a leader, I don't think you say, I observed you at work, I, because that's the space boundary. I saw you sitting at your desk or in a conference room. I think I asked the question to the employee, what did you do today that helped a customer get more value from us, that mm-hmm. created value for a customer? Yeah, That's a boundary. And so an HR person may say, oh, I did nothing. And I'd go, then why are you working? Because if you're not, and, and, and so, for example, somebody that does recruiting, like you yes. do enough, what did you do in recruiting that will help a customer have a better experience? Well, mm-hmm. I thought more carefully about the skills that our customers need to see from our employees. So that when I interview people, I'm interviewing them against the skills customers need from us, not just a random set of skills. Yeah, I invited two customers to interview some of my people. And I think every day a leader can begin to say there is a boundary of work. Yes, it's not space. It's not place. It's building value for a customer. And if I can get 90, 80, 90 percent of my employees Mm -hmm. every day, how does a customer benefit today in a small way from what I've done at work? I think that's a great place. I don't know if I care where it is. It could be at a Starbucks. It could be at Stanley Park on a blanket. It could be mm. in a car. It could be a, in my home. It could be in an office downtown. Yeah. I don't care. What I do care is that you worked in a way that created value for a customer. Yeah, it's very important to have that value mindset. It's not all about the profit. It's the value, right? Absolutely. By the way, if we create value for customer, profits will follow. Yeah. I mean, uh, customers will pay when they get value. Um, I, we went to a dinner for the first time in a year. We had, my wife had a birthday and our grandson had a birthday. So we rented a private room and we paid an enormous amount of money. It was obscene. It was embarrassing. And we walked out and we said, that was nice. Yes. And I said, look at what we paid for this dinner. There were 10 of us as a family in a private yeah. room with masks on all socially distanced. Yes. And we thought, you know, that was more money than we paid for the meals we've eaten at home. At home, I eat meals that are very simple. I eat apples and tricks and other things. But, you know, I, that was value. Yeah. And it doesn't matter how much you pay. And I'll, I'll go back. I hope we get a dinner out before another year. But, but value is what we create. And if we create value for a customer or a client, the profit will come. Yeah. The profit will come. Thank you for that, David. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have anything regarding the value, please leave comments below and tune in next time for another great question with Dave.